What is up guys? Just doing some local riding today. It's been a good minute since I actually took out the bike. Early morning ride, you know, before work. Uh. Oh fuck. Went to neutral. Fuck me. It's been a minute since I actually rode a bike. It's been like a week. It's been kind of busy so I don't know it's pretty hard to uh, get some time on the seat you know it's a little cold right now I think this mesh jacket is uh, <laughs> the wrong gear for today's ride just cruising right now you know no fast riding for today <clears throat> uh, horrible downshift You know, this bike makes me like ride slower just because it sounds good. Like that V-twin sound really makes me want to cruise rather than speed, you know. It's a nice change. Whew, feels, feels good to ride again. It's like all the worries in the world kind of melt away, you know. <clears throat> I haven't ridden this bike in so long that my bike actually failed to start today. I had to jump it. Guy was looking, give him a little rev. Ah, this bike is so nice. I love this thing. I think this is my, one of my favorite bikes I've ever ridden. I had some time on it. Just has a lot of character from all the other bikes I've ridden. <clears throat> Definitely not the fastest, <laughs> for sure, but uh, I'd say it's the second fastest. The Xena 100 first, obviously, and then this, and then the Ninja 650. But I think, no, no, actually, that's not true. I was going to say that the Ninja 650 might have a top, higher top speed, but I think this one has the higher one. Just because it uh, has more horsepower and more torque. Or it might have the same amount of torque, actually. Shift from third to second there. Very jolty. Whew, the sun's coming out. Look at that. Beautiful. Everyone's going to work, including me soon. Work from home for today, so perfect. Get to have a little bit of a nice ride in the morning. With my loud ass exhaust. Exhaust. Think I need to do <laughs> think I need to do a little bit of an oil change, honestly. I feel the bike feeling a little bit weird. One thing I like about this bike is that it's fun to, to ride slow, you know? Just because the sound is so fucking amazing. Oh, look at that. I'm barely like breaking like speed limits here. Just stick it to 30 miles an hour. Definitely needs an oil change though. I feel it. I don't even know when the owner, or the, pre the previous owner changed the oil. He's, I mean, he told me that he hasn't ridden the bike in like six months. So yeah, definitely gonna have to change it. I ordered some oil whatever so I'm gonna go with my friend Julian's place and maybe change it over there buy some pizza it's gonna be a nice little uh, get-together one thing I want to do with this bike is I want to put some like barbed end mirrors like these mirrors are great you know for visibility and functionality but they look horrendous on this shit 
I mean, if I put it on the bar ends, I probably will have to just look like down like this. But the good thing about bar ends is that when I look down, I'm also checking my blind spot at the same time, like this. So it's not a bad, uh, not a bad thing. Now I was thinking the other day, you know, this bike, yes, this bike is slower than the Z900, but one thing this bike has over the Z is that it uses regular gas and and uh, the gas mileage is a significantly better. I think the Z900 is like, when I rode it, I had like 30 to the gallon because I could be speeding on that shit. This one has like 70, 50. 70 if I'm like hyper miling it. 50 if I'm like gunning it. 50 miles a gallon is really good. Especially since I'm not really using premium gas like I was with the Z900. So yeah. I'd say this is an upgrade. Especially since I like to ride long distances. This bike is just more, econo more economic. Also, one thing I noticed about the Z900 was that it uses a lot of the, t of the tires, you know. The tires, I noticed like when I was doing the one one high speed run, which is around like 10 minutes worth of like just high, like pitting the throttle all the way to top speed. Um, I would notice a significant amount of wear on the tire. Yeah, bless me. This bike sounds so beautiful. Oh my god. Ah, nice and empty, man. Love it. You know, my favorite time to ride is early morning. Not that many people on the road, you know, it's very stress-free, very calming. I have to change the whole fit for this bike, you know. I gotta look more hipster, more cowboy-like when, uh, when I ride this thing. I'm gonna get some tan gloves and some proper boots. Well, actually, I'll just keep the boots. I'll get a flannel uh, jacket with padding. Or maybe a denim jacket. Make myself look cool. <laughs> definitely gonna need to change the oil on this I feel the engine like being unsmooth It's getting cold, man. Fuck. Ah, should have should have worn my other jacket. One thing I like about these exhausts I have here. Delcovic 14 inch slip on exhaust is that it's uh, not too loud. It's like just the perfect amount of loudness I want on a bike. It's 
actually nice to like ride bikes like slow <laughs> just cruising enjoying the enjoying the scenery although there's not much good scenery around here <laughs> it's still nice uh, might need to clean the chain on this too definitely need to clean the chain <coughs> Gotta love the diesel sound on this. Ooh, it sounds so nice. Whoever told me in the comment section to give it not too much throttle when you're downshifting, he's uh that guy deserves metal. That really helped. When I was like downshifting before, I was giving too much throttle. Because the reason why I'm, I was giving so much thought throttle is because I, I drive a manual car. And every time I downshift, I give it like a good amount of throttle just so it could rev match smoothly. With on a bike, you know, I found that you don't really need to give that much throttle to downshift to rev match. Just cruising, baby. It's cold today. Wow. 613 baby Gotta love the early morning rides wake up the whole neighborhood to have a ride <laughs> Little doggy doggy walking Ah uh, so nice to ride like this you know when I first started riding like I've always wanted to go like really fast on a bike and shit but then after a while I kind of got bored of it it's like eh going fast is nice but after a while you all just become desensitized to the speed Tunnel. Let's see how well we do here. I'm going to rev it. Whew, that sounds beautiful. <sighs> this thing does have torque. Made it to our destination. I'm gonna go around about. Finally made it. Just park up, take a picture for the gram. I'll be out of my way. As in, let's do this. There she is. Beautiful. I'm not gonna turn it off because uh, I just jumped. I just jump started it, so I don't know if I'll turn on if I turn it off. Gorgeous machine, man. It looks like a Ducati. I mean, they did copy Ducati. <laughs> Sheesh, sounds beautiful. All right, let's go home. Let's get home quick, start the day, start the week. It is a Monday after all. Let's 
get home, boys. guys thank you all for watching this video i really appreciate you guys for for tuning in you know what i'm saying and uh thank you again have a good day enjoy a laugh there's fullest and you know keep riding enjoy every minute of it and uh you know ride safe especially